sorry. This um, particular question here is um, a sequence uh, question that is kind of interesting because you're looking at this thing here and it, and it gives you these numbers one half, then four, then one quarter, then seven, then one eighth, then ten. And if you're thinking along the lines of, well, this is a sequence, term one, term two, and there's got to be rules. And if you try and think about it like that as one sequence, you're going to get really um, frustrated. So sometimes, sometimes, well, you look for the pattern. There's a half. Oh, there's a quarter. There's an eighth. If these guys weren't here, four, seven, and ten, I'd just be multiplying by a half. It would kind of look like a geometric sequence where R was a half and A1 is uh, A1 is a half. And then the other numbers, 4, 7, 10, hey, that's just a simple arithmetic sequence. So that's not so hard. Okay, it says here, if the pa pattern continues in the same way, write down the next two terms. Well, it goes 1 half, 4, 1 quarter, 7, 1 eighth, 10, Hey, the next one's going to be a fraction, and to multiply it by half, the next one must be 1 over 16. And the next one must be 3 more than 10, so 1 over 16 and 13, if you just saw the pattern. Well, calculate the sum of the first 50 terms. Well, half of them are geometric, half of them are arithmetic. Let's look at the geometric sequence first. 1 half plus a quarter plus an eighth to 25 terms, half of the 50 terms. Well, we just use the equation for the sum of an arithmetic of a geometric sequence. This is your geometric um, series, and here's the formula: a is a half, r is a half, n is twenty-five. Just put that in your calculator, and you get all this just about equal to one point nine 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 going on forever. And then let's take a look at the arithmetic um, sequence. It's 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 3. Okay, so A is 4. Um, it kind of looks like D is 3. D is 3. The common difference is 3. And there's 25 terms. So instead of an A, there's the formula. N over 2, 2A plus N minus 1 times D. A is equal to 4 because it's the first term. N minus 1 is 25 minus 1 is 24. D is 3 because it's going up by 3. That's 8 plus 3 times 24. And then you divide it by 2, multiply it by 25. Hey, it's 1,000. Well, it kind of looks like your answer is going to be 1,000 plus this number that's incredibly close to 1. If you round it off to the nearest hundredth, your answer is 101. And there you go. So watch for that. Sometimes you've got two sequences in one. Okay, well, that's the first question. And our sheet for our workshop, it's called A1. I hope it helps.